This video is not intended for viewers under the age of 13. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Memo here. Today we're taking a look at the 2021 Marvel Transformers Collaborative Ultimate Expanse. This is a Transformers and X-Men animated series crossover. I was uh, kind of hesitant with this figure, but... Now that I have them in hand, I actually do quite enjoy it. So, that being said, let's uh, get through the intro and uh, see what he has in store for us. Stay tuned. As usual, we're going to start with what he comes with. Uh, it comes with a fairly decent instruction manual. It's not too bad. Uh, it could be a little little clearer but it does a, does an okay job uh, next up he comes with some of the tiniest X-Men I've ever seen uh, not the best done I mean they're just basically pieces of rubber uh, painted okay uh, although Wolverine's face is kind of weird with yellow eyes and mouth but Nicely done in red, blue, and yellow. Sabretooth, in my opinion, looks the best. Just with the uh, tan and the maroonish brown. You can actually see a little bit of face detail on him. So, done okay. The uh, first laser effect that we get is actually intended to lock on to these guys. Possibly some sort of motion or uh, laser effect. It's supposed to come from Expanse. But, okay. Next you come with, he comes with Psylocke's Psychic Blade. Looks pretty good, nicely, nicely detailed there. And then, a psychic version of Wolverine's Claws, which, due to errors in the process, kind of look like they have blood on there, don't they? Oh, maybe that's intentional. Anyhow, again, nicely detailed with, which looks like psychic effects. Wish they kind of... Expand it apart a little bit better, but I guess you could probably heat heat that up and fix that, but Overall nicely done You can actually store both of those weapons in alt mode And here's expanse in his his jet mode. I gotta say he looks really good. I was pleasantly surprised from what I understand, this is a heavy, heavy retool of the Studio Series Bayverse Jetfire. Unfortunately, I'm not a big fan of the Bayverse, and I don't have that figure. But from what I understand from watching other videos, the sections right here and along the spine are the only things that carry over. I guess everything else is completely new. So that's good. He, uh, he looks good in my opinion. I love the, the red on the windshield and then the, the yellow and black paint on the engine intakes. Uh, I have seen lots of people say that their wings here were not properly configured to where they were very, very loose and they couldn't get them to stay in place straight like this. Uh, if you watch my channel, you, you would have seen my review of... Uh, Kiki which is a it's a very nice product uh, it works superbly here the uh, the wings do give quite a bit of resistance now when maneuvering them or manipulating them so I didn't have to heat it up or do anything crazy just a little bit of Kiki's really did fix that issue for me but let's take a look at some closer detail 
Again, there is the cockpit area. Nicely done. Coming along the engines, you got the yellow paint, black paint here along the, uh, the ribs, along the spine. Getting all nicely detailed. Loving the X-Men signal there, symbol there on the wing. Coming around to the back. This is where you begin to see some of the bot. Uh, these do manipulate a little bit, so that's good. And then down along the bottom, definitely, definitely the bot is visible. So quite a bit of kibble there. But from the side and from the top, he looks really good. Sorry, this leader class figure is huge. But you can, if you want, stow the landing gear. Uh, there is no, there's no port where you can use a, a stand. So if you've got one of the three point stands that just use friction and gravity to hold it in place, then that could most likely work but your typical single port stand is not gonna not gonna work with this guy uh, that being said the uh the alt mode looks really good i'm gonna i'm gonna put a picture of the uh animated uh blackbird if i can right here just for comparison but in my opinion i am happy with this uh this jet mode just for comparison's sake here he is with a recent uh, crossover. Uh, this is the uh, 2021 Gigawatt, which is a deluxe class. So he's pretty small compared to uh, Expanse. And we have Expanse in his bot mode. I think he actually looks uh, really good. Definitely modeled after Cyclops, um, which is obvious by the, uh, the chest and the belt and to be honest, the colors of the robot. But let's take a look at some detail. You got a nicely painted face with silver, blue, and red. And the visor can actually lift up, revealing some red painted eyes. Um, I'm trying to see who this guy reminds me of. I can't quite place it, but let me know what you think in the comments. Anyhow, coming down the chest. You got that brilliant yellow paint along with the black and red for the X-Men logo. Nicely painted details here along the sides of the abdomen and the belts. Coming down the arms. Hands are nicely detailed. No uh, articulation, but they definitely detail these guys out. Coming down the legs, this is kind of my opinion where this guy suffers a little bit. He's got knee pads like you can't imagine. And then the feet. I left the, uh, the wings off, but you can go ahead and put those back on if you want. Simple as that. So you can have that look going if you want. Coming over the back, there's quite a bit of cable, but there was a lot of jet mode there to hide. As far as articulation goes, these can pivot up and down, so you can pose them if you, if you want. Head would do a 360 completely. Um, a little bit, yeah, it's got some up and down on the neck joint there. Nothing side to side, but it does kind of suffer from a little bit of a loose chest. So moving that around will definitely cause it to uh, pop out of place. Arms would be able to do a full 360. Bicep swivel, 90 degrees of bend. And then, as I already mentioned, the only articulation in the hands is a, a wrist swivel. Legs are ratcheted, 
and go all the way out to there all the way forward and about that far back knees you actually do have a double joint in there so you can get full 90 and again these pop off because the knee joints are a little stiff to be honest and then feet you do have an ankle rocker and uh, some toe tilt so overall he's pretty well articulated I wish they would have done something with the fingers but for uh, mainline I think he does okay I don't actually have any other leader class figures so here he is with Voyager class grapple and deluxe class smokescreen Alright, I'm not going to lie guys, the transformation for this guy is a bit of a struggle. Uh, mainly the legs. Uh, the, uh, the wings do want to pop off constantly, so you're going to have to uh, either leave them off during transformation or deal with it very gingerly. It's, uh, it's not the funnest. Uh, the upper body isn't too bad, but I know I just, I, I kept running into problems so I, I'm not going to include the transformation in this video. If I get the opportunity I may throw one up later, just the transformation itself. But uh, let's go on and move into final thoughts. Uh, negatives. The transformation does suck. I'm not going to lie. But it, uh, I mean it's necessary just because the length of this figure in uh, alt mode is crazy. He's, he's absolutely huge. Uh, he uh, he could have, they could have done something different with the knee pads. I just, I just think that they're, as, as, as the bot is in a hole, it's just a, kind of an eyesore. They're just too big. But again, that would have been something difficult to change. That being said, he does have a lot of positives. Uh, he, he's pretty well articulated. Um, I forgot to mention he does have a waist swivel and a little bit of a teapot too. So you do get some side to side. Uh, he's... His articulation is a lot better than I expected. The uh, the colors and the paint do look superb. Usually the yellows that you see could have used another coat, but this is done fairly well. I have no complaints there. He uh, does definitely fit the part as uh, being similar to uh, the looks of Cyclops. And I do enjoy the Blast Effect style psychic weapons that uh, they they took from Psylocke. So, overall, he is a pretty well done bot. Just uh, take your time with the transformation. Again, it's a bear, but the final result, in my opinion, is well worth it. He looks great. He's got great articulation. And if you're an X-Men fan, especially the animated series from back in the 90s, you, you don't want to pass this guy up. So he does come with a recommend for me. You may just want to wait till he's he's on sale. So 60 bucks is kind of pushing it. But for that 60 bucks, you do get a, a large, well-articulated and uh, nostalgic figure. He definitely uh, tugs on those, uh, those heartstrings a little bit. All right. Well, that being said, if you did like the video, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Um, I hope to bring more content at a faster pace now that I am getting settled into the new house. Just things keep popping up that need my attention. But uh, thank you for those that uh, have supported the channel already. If you have a comment, by all means, let me know how I did. What do you like about the video? What do you not? But regardless, I do hope to see you again next time.